What time is it? It is 9.33 and we just got the computer parts. New motherboard, hard drive, cables, two CDs, players, or whatever, DVD ROMs. Hopefully we got it all in there. Video card, other stuff, so that's all going to go Let's open in this. there. We're going to open it. There's one thing. Video card. Power supply. Whatever this is. Whatever These are probably the uh, SATA cables. Okay, I'll, I'll just put that aside. Oh, the router. Okay, router. This one thing I know in that one. Processor. Processor? I core i7. Core i7. I have like an i like do I, do I have an i? No, you have a Pentium 4. Pentium 4. That's your Pentium. Windows 7. Windows 7 builders copy. Builders OEM edition. Yes. That looks like the motherboard. Motherboard. There's more. Those are the SATA cables. So what's in that envelope then? I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> oh, that might be a RAM actually. Bubble pop. Bubble pop. I don't feel anything. Open this and see if it's the RAM. It better be. Ah, uh -huh. it is. Cool. It's a little bit later than it was um, earlier, which is how video works with linear editing. <laughs> but anyway, Jimmy is more awake. And we kind noticed, of. kind of, so we noticed something in our order that the hard drive is not here yet because it shipped from Tennessee for some reason, and the hard, uh, the DVD ROMs are also not here because they didn't make it to the order somehow. Well, I, I apparently I didn't like verify the order or I didn't click OK or something. Or this motherboard is too big to fit in this case. We don't have a new case. So now we're no drives, no CD-ROMs, and a case that's too small. That's just how these things work. Murphy's Law. But one good thing, it is a serial ATA hard drive, so this hard drive will plug into this motherboard. Which is a good thing. Because then we can use that hard drive. Yeah, we looked online for cases because you know, we kind of need a case to build this, and I'm leaving pretty soon, so we can't order one. There won't be enough time. We want to build this today, so. I looked online for some places like Best Buy, Target, um, I don't know, Walmart even, trying to find a, a place that sells computer cases. And they do, but they're all... You have to order them and they'll, you know, they have to be shipped and it can take three to five days. And so I just kept searching and I found this little local company called like Advanced Concepts or something. And uh, they actually have cases in stock. That's a pretty advanced concept, I think, to have products in stock. We got a case. And DVD ROMs. There's the case. Thermal take. So, first thing to do is install power supply. We got the motherboard installed right there. And if anybody's wondering what it is, it's that. It's too bright though. Sabretooth X58 motherboard from Asus. It's a good motherboard.
looks really cool too. So that's installed. I didn't install the power supply yet. I said I was going to do that first. Didn't. Um, you are a liar. You are a no good, dirty, rotten liar. <laughs> you are bright. Before you just get more power to it, which is. You put. Yeah, we got the power supply in. I don't know if we really need to uh, go one on one by one, like every single component we install, but we did what we said we would do at first by putting the power supply in. We got the RAM and the processor inside. And uh, so that's what we've got. RAM, motherboard, processor, power supply. And uh, we plugged in all the front components. We plugged in all the front components. Just repeated what Mike just said. Now I think we should do hard drive and CD ROMs, DVD ROMs. Yes. Look, we got the uh, disk drives in. And we'll go the hard drive. Oh. That's cool. What is that? It's the graphics card. Oh, yeah. We'll put the graphics card in. Nice. Nice. We put everything in the new computer, and Mike is closing it back up, and we are going to plug it in and see if it works. It may or may not, because of all the new <coughs> components. Hopefully my computer will work. Mike just plugged in the basics. He is uh, going to try to turn it on. Oh, are you ready? Hey, sure, I'll turn it on, I because it's my computer. didn't do anything. I didn't hear anything. Nothing happened. Um oh, do the switch on the back of the, on the power supply. That's what I did. Oh, there it goes. On. There it goes. Ooh, that's cool looking. It's all blue. It's on now. And the monitor isn't doing anything right now. Neither did the keyboard. No signal input. Hold on. Well, it's on. It's quiet, too. Yeah. It's not doing anything. Too worried about it though. Mm. Like exactly the same. <laughs> okay, I'll stop recording and figure out what's wrong with this. Hey, we just uh, set it up and fixed it so that uh, well, happened, it worked. It seemed there was a an issue with the memory. The light that comes on when there's a problem with the memory was on. If you remember, it was red last time. Yeah, it's no longer red. Um, what I ended up doing was taking the memory out and putting it into slot B1. And then... Oh, uh, then it worked. And then it worked. So I don't know if it just wasn't all the way in slot A1, and so it was just messing up. Now we need to do some setup. Yeah. System time. What time is it? Oops. Six two forty five. It's not six forty four. Two. And it is the eleventh, not the twelfth. Forty five, you say? Yeah, forty five. 
Wednesday, no, system date January. Oops. Okay, uh, I guess we don't need to record this process. We could just, uh, when we get it up and running, or when we get past the setup and everything. Yeah, see, Maxter detects the drive, and then on 3 and 4, I have HP DVD Writer 1270, and then another one. Awesome. Okay, we'll, we'll just, uh, we'll just boot it up then.